So with Act One, we're at the arrival point of my most chaotic self. Some of the music is from the opera that I was performing. It was a physical manifestation of many things, but essentially it stopped my voice completely. Eventually it led to me going for days at a time, not barely being able to speak at all. The other part of this installation is a word installation of really the first negative review that I ever got, which happened to take place here in San Francisco. I thought everything chaotic and messy that I'm feeling inside of myself is now registered and legible. Act two is the phase where my therapeutic process began. This room is, starts actually <laughs> with some of my earliest childhood memories of performing of my family, some very painful parts of my childhood. It's simulating a therapy that is used for people who deal with uh, post-traumatic stress. It's called EMDR. Part of this method is to get the right and left sides of the brain to connect with one another. And so the part of you that is feeling, the part of you that is hyper-reactive is then, can then become linked with the part of you that is more rational. The third act is moving into incorporation. One part of this whole process that was most frightening for me was admitting that I had to kind of dissociate from different parts of myself in order to deal with the more challenging times in my life. There's nothing really to be afraid of, of letting some of the more quiet, shy, and hurt parts of yourself be expressed and shown publicly in a space as well as the, the part of you that is like at its most conscious and able to actually embrace and, and connect all of these things. When I think about the degree to which we look to the artists mm. we admire to reveal parts of ourselves that we don't know mm. or to show us signs of humanity that we can't describe, there's so much that you carry on behalf of others. You're an instrument for so many things, not just yourself, but also the audiences that you're performing for. When your voice is the instrument, and, and that's where the chaos realizes itself, it realizes itself in a public way that for many of us it wouldn't. Um, and so the burden is even that much greater. And yet you've persevered. Well, I think it's just in being able to organize it. So. I don't get lost in the process of tapping into whatever it is that I'm choosing to tap into. Mm -hmm.